Hello friends, in this video I will be talking on different types of energy sources. Before that, I would like you to pause this video and look at this picture and see what this picture is telling you. The names pointing towards left and the names pointing towards right. See what's the similarity in the one pointing towards left and the other pointing towards right. Yes, you are right. The names on the left are actually the renewable sources of energy and the names on the right are non-renewable sources of energy. Let's move ahead. Learning outcomes of this lecture are to discuss different types of energy sources and distinguish between conventional and non-conventional energy sources. Now let's see what are the two basic types of energy sources. And the first one is conventional energy sources or the conventional energy source. These energy sources are formed long ago and accumulated in nature but are exhausted easily. These cannot be replaced, for example, fossil fuels like coal, natural gas and petroleum. And the second type of energy source is all the sources are non-conventional energy sources. These energy sources are produced in nature and are non-exhaustible. The example of renewable sources of energy, renewable means non-conventional. Non-conventionals are also called as renewable sources of energy. So the example of these renewable or non-conventional sources of energies are solar energy, hydro energy, geothermal energy, wind energy, tidal energy, etc. So as I said, the conventional energy sources are called as non-renewable energy sources. That means you cannot uh, renew them or you cannot reproduce them easily. On the other hand, non-conventional energy sources are called as renewable energy sources. That means you can renew that energy even if you are using it time to time, like solar energy which is kind of energy which is inexhaustible uh, which you can use again and again. Next let's uh, talk about the conventional sources of energy in detail. So conventional or non-renewable energy sources are these energy sources uh, which uh, we humans are using from long years ago hence we call them as conventional sources of energy which we are using from very old ages so it includes the coal now as we know coal was formed long ago by degradation of plants under the ground under high pressure and the temperature without presence of air it is a solid form of brown or brownish black colored fuel. Coal was widely used conventionally as an energy source. After wood, as wood was also one of the uh, mode of producing the heat energy by burning it. So after wood, coal was the main source of energy as fossil fuel. And today also many of the power plants in India are running onto the coals by burning the coals only. So coals are of different types according to the carbon content in it uh, like anthracite, bituminous and lignite. It is very useful in production of electricity as I stated earlier. Next is crude oil which is also called as petroleum. This fossil fuel is formed by the decomposition of organic matters under very high temperature and pressure. When the organisms died, they settled to the bottom of the ocean 
and millions of years heat and pressure causes this dead organism to change to oil. The crude petroleum is obtained by drilling into the earth crust and the various components of it are extracted by fractional distillation process. The main components of, are the petrol, diesel, naphtha, kerosene, the lubricant oil and paraffin wax. Let's move to the next conventional source of energy which is natural gas uh, which we generally uh, called as the liquid petroleum gas. So this gas is produced plentifully in marshy areas. Its main component is methane. This colorless and odorless gas is lighter than air. For this reason, before transporting filled in cylinders, it is mixed with a chemical mercaptan to provide strong odor. Natural gas is used for cooking in the form of LPG, that is liquid petroleum gas and also used as a fuel in automobiles. Nowadays we are most aware about the CNG running vehicles also. So here CNG stands for compressed natural gas which is also one of the clean fuel used in many industries as well. Due to increasing human population and limited source of fossil fuels Renewable energy act as the alternative for energy requirement. Burning of this fuel causes air pollution and environmental hazards. For this reason, renewable energy sources are opt nowadays. The wonder of nature is such that every single atom present in it can create some form of energy big or small. Even for you to blink your eyes, there is a certain energy that goes into, isn't it? Understanding the types of energy cannot only make you sound like pro, but also help you choose the right resources to get your job done. And the next, which is one of the again conventional source of energy and the most known popular is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is made from the elements which are radioactive and undergo nuclear fission reaction. To generate nuclear energy, nuclear fuels are needed such as uranium, thorium, However, uranium is one of the popular nuclear fuel used to produce the energy in nuclear power plant. So, nuclear energy is produced in nuclear power plants and high protection as the products form are harmful to us. So, uh, nuclear power plants need a very high protection uh, shield because the fuel which we use they are highly radioactive and they are very harmful to us. If the radioactive waste are disposed safely in environment this will be eco-friendly and a reliable energy source for our future. So this is uh, all about the conventional energy sources which we are using from a long years ago and these are obviously are non-renewable energy sources and they are depleting nowadays. So our focus is means world's focus is now on using the renewable energy sources and let's talk about more on this. So let's see what are the different uh, non-conventional energy sources we are having. So this is a very most popular and uh, 
science is working on uh, using the solar energy on its base so the solar energy is the primary source available on earth we all know it this renewable sources is available in abundance energy is produced in the sun by nuclear fusion reaction solar energy however is of low quality as it produces limited amount of energy and temperature thus it is usually used to heat water and air for cooking and drying high solar energy is being converted to electricity by solar cells it is used in calculators solar panels are made of combination of many solar cells in artificial satellites solar panels provides the energy solar cookers and solar heaters are made on the basis of this principle the next is the wind energy so this is also well known and the popular form of energy and in the picture you can see the rotating wind mills or we call them as wind turbine wind has energy as it moves with high speed and the energy is being harnessed for our needs traditional energies used are depleting hence it is used wind power is produced by natural and renewable sources with modern technologies it does not pollute the environment and a cheap source of energy the windmills or wind turbines are used to generate electricity the huge blades of windmills move with the high speed of the wind to generate required electricity india is geographically blessed with coastal areas deserts and hills to utilize this energy in india kerala gujarat tamil nadu produce the wind energy denmark china usa and germany are the main producers of wind energy next is the tidal energy tides are the periodic rise and the fall of the water level of ocean which is produced by the gravitational forces of moon tides contain large amount of energy that helps to produce tidal energy the rise and the fall of water led to production and generation of power which then moves the blades of turbine to generate electricity the most appropriate location for production of tidal energy in india are arabian sea and bay of bengal next is the hydrogen energy where we see in the diagram fuel cells are used uh, and the hydrogen obviously is used and the energy contained in the hydrogen is extracted and is being used wherever it is required now the next one is geothermal energy geo means earth and thermal means the heat means the heat which is present in within the earth crust is uh, utilized uh, to produce an electricity and it is called as geothermal energy so inside the earth surface the temperature is quite high so this high temperature heats up the underground water and produces steam this steam is then utilized to run the turbines to produce electrical energy new zealand usa and ireland utilize these sources of energy let's move on to the last one which is biomass energy the cattle dung sewage agricultural waste stage are the biomasses which is traditionally used to produce energy cow dung cakes 
and firewood were used earlier frequently to produce heat energy. Recently, due to environmental issues, biogas is produced from biomass. Biogas is a mixture of many gases like methane, carbon dioxide, hydrogen gas and others. Biogas is now used for cooking in rural areas and it is used to produce electricity through biogas plants. In the biogas plant, the biomass is fermented in the absence of air but in the presence of water. Mixture of carbon dioxide and other gases are produced due to decay of organic matter. This gas is highly inflammable and is known as biogas and hence the energy which is produced from this we can call it as biomass energy. So that's it for today and in the next lecture we will be talking in more detail on few forms of energy conversion into the electricity. For example, the energy which is produced by the coal in the form of heat and how we can convert that heat into electricity within the thermal power station. So let's uh, end up here and we will be talking in more detail uh, regarding all these energies in subsequent lecture. I am Manoj Sononi, sign off now.